today I'm going to tackle putting in a cruise control. Uh, I have the Rostra 250-9642 cruise control. It's for 2014 and 2018 ProMasters. Let me open this. This is everything you get in the box. Instructions, which there is one uh, wrong thing in there that I will show you. Um, I This is a control box. I've put in the wiring harnesses. I've plugged them in where they go. Um, Self-explanatory. This one here, nothing goes there. This one here is the one I'm going to talk about first. In the instructions, it tells you the color numbers or the the colors of these wires it's wrong don't worry about it just make sure you plug the big one in the left side there don't worry about the colors it comes with twist ties and it comes with the arm controller so I will show you hopefully better than some videos I've seen online what you do is these get plugged into where you replace the old factory pieces plug these new ones in and then you piggyback the old the factory piece onto these so the factory pieces still are going to be on here they're just going to, going to be piggybacked onto these and I'll show you that when we get into it first of all though you have to take this panel off and disconnect your negative uh, battery the negative terminal of your battery then you have to take this panel off and this panel off. I'm not going to show that. You can figure it out, I'm sure. And then this bottom part comes off with some screws here. And a couple down there, I believe. So I'll get to it. Always remember, after you've disconnected the battery, to put this floorboard back down so you don't lose anything down in there that you won't be able to find. I also got one of these at Harbor Freight for like a buck. It's a magnetic that can hold all your stuff so you don't lose it. So the small panel here was Phillips, two Phillips, and the big panel was how many we got here? It was actually four Phillips. And then the steering column is four three millimeter Allen wrench to take that off. So, so far that's all the tools I've needed to get the panels off. Uh, the only other tool you will need for the rest of this is soldering gun because there's one uh, wire that has to be soldered. It doesn't have to be, but from what I hear, if you don't solder it, there's no warranty. So, I will be soldering it. And just so you know, these ones were easy to get at. This one was fairly easy to get at. This one back here is hard to get at. But I got them all. Okay, now I've taken the old OBD2 out. And I'm going to plug this into the old one. And then the new one will stick out where the old one was. And there, just, just as simple as that. Now I've got... <coughs> This one to go to the accelerator pedal, same way it piggybacks, and then I work on the ignition. There, that's all done. Get the new one in, get the old one piggybacked onto this one. Now for the ignition, I have to unclip. There we go. And I'm looking for there's two wires, a blue wire and a blue and red. I need the blue and red. And I need to splice into it because I need to put solder this one onto it. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so the hardest part will be stripping this wire. I'm going to try not to cut it, but I just want to strip it a little bit so I can solder the other wire on there. This is going to be the hardest part because there's not much wire to work with and it's really tight in there. And to solder with 
Only two hands. We'll see. Okay, I got it. It wasn't pretty, but I got it. Now I just plug this back in to the ignition. And then all I have to do is get my... Get this. And drill a hole through there. So I can get this through. And fish this through, the wires. And then on the other end of the wires, you put these on. And then these plug in to there. Just like that. So do not put these on until you have inserted it through your hole that you're going to drill. Put the stick through first. Fish them through. I'll show you. There we go. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole through there. And now I will fish this through get it attached. It's very important to test fit this so you know at what angle you want it mounted so you can tighten it down ahead of time without taking everything apart. That looks good. Okay now that that's done make sure this is fished through the right side. You don't want to connect all this stuff up and have the wires not where you need them to come through. So now what you need to do is take these, what's called, these are Molex connectors. They will go into these connectors a certain way. You can look on your instructions on how to do it, what color goes on which, which side, because they have to plug in perfectly to this side. You can kind of go by what you see here, because it's going to match. Well, I wasn't totally right. It's not going to match. Uh... So go by the instructions. So don't go by what the wire, color wires you see there because they are not going to match. So let me get these connectors connected on this end and I'll show you the finished product. So these Molex connectors are pretty simple to put in here in these holes. Um, it helps to have a needle nose or something to push it in. Um, when you hear it click, you know it's in. If it don't click, it's not in. There, and once they're in, they look like that. And you can just plug them in. White to white, black to black. And I'll fish the wires back through. Put the steering column on. I'll leave the other panels. I'll leave everything sit. I'll twist tie and organize these wires after I've test drove it. There, and once they're in, they look like that. And you can just plug them in. White to white, black to black. And I'll fish the wires back through. Put the steering column on. I'll leave the other panels. I'll leave everything sit. I'll twist tie and organize these wires after I've test drove it. It might be hard to plug these in sometimes because the connectors in there can get a little wonky. You need to straighten them out a little bit so it, it will insert into the other end. Okay, battery connected. Moment of truth. I can do again. And if you have some old jewelry, you don't... Don't need the radio on. Okay, it's running. Try this out on the highway. Actually, let's see if we can not go on the highway and just try to do this on a slower speed above 25 miles an hour okay let's see how this works turn it on light is on it's hard to see because the sun's in there but it is on it's set it's holding Bouncy road, but it's holding. Let's hit the brake. It goes off. Let's hit resume. It resumes. It's a success. All right, now let's get it home and get it all buttoned up. 
And this is also a good time to clean out under your floorboard where the batteries go. So a bunch of stuff falls in there. But I have another floor mat that I put over the top so I won't have that problem. This is the mat I use. I got it on Amazon for, well, they run 80 bucks, but I think it's on sale right now for 60 bucks. I'll leave uh, an affiliate link to it on Amazon. Also the link to the cruise control I'll leave in the description. And that's what the floor mat looks back in, protecting that under layer.